Hi friends, this is Albina. Um, I wanted to give you a quick little sneak peek about our July gathering that will take place tomorrow, July 7th at six o'clock central time. As promised, I want to tell you all about your inherited legacy. What is inherited legacy? We are all born into an, our inherited legacy, which can be your family, your parents, your um, family beliefs, um, your society, your culture, even things like what a woman or what a man is supposed to be like. Um, a lot of times you will see um, inherited legacy beliefs um, passed on from generation to generation, such as things like limited, limiting beliefs around money or limiting beliefs around marriage or what one can and cannot do and things like that. Um, it can be anything like, for example, we know a family, there are three siblings and every one of the siblings have been married multiple times, like more than three times. So there is something that is passed on in that family from generation to generation. In my own personal um, journey, um, I remember my mother used to always say, until I stopped her, she used to always say, oh, you are just like the Oras Galivs part of the family. It was always um, had that negative kind of annotation to that. And I'll tell you, it made me, always made me feel like disempowered, as if like, oh, well, this is how I am. This is how I was born. Um, this is how my dad is. This is how my aunts are. This is how my grandmother is. Therefore, I carry the genes and I cannot do anything about it. Do, do you know what I mean? There can be <clears throat> inherited legacy that is passed on from generation to generation. The limiting beliefs around money, this is what I see often. Limiting beliefs around family, around marriage, about career, about um, what is possible or what is realistic and things like that. And the reason why I want to share this work with you is once you look at your inherited legacy um, clearly, and once you see it clearly, um, you can step into a position of choice, meaning you were given free will. You can absolutely choose, you can make a new choice about what part of your inherited legacy you choose to keep and what part of your inherited legacy you choose to release. And in my experience, it has been an incredibly powerful process. And it's not something that you do once and you're done with it. You do it on and on, you know, the moment you catch yourself in that ocean of inherited legacy, you can pause. I'll, I'll teach you the process that will help you pause and make a new choice. I choose to let it go or I choose to create my own personal legacy. It's very powerful. Ultimately, this process is something that helps you um, embody the fullness of your power. Step into the fullness of your power, which is ultimately tying it back to our last month um, gathering. This is ultimately a part of your sacred contract. Every single sacred contract you have in your life in this lifetime is about you um, stepping into the fullness of your power by making a new choice. So we're gonna unpack that inherited legacy. It's an incredibly powerful process. Um, it literally, you're gonna leave feeling so empowered and, and you literally get to create from that place of power. You will feel a shift within you, I promise you. Whatever area you want to unpack, either it is about money or relationship or what is possible and what is not possible and things like that. So that's one thing that we'll cover tomorrow and fingers crossed, we're gonna have some time left to unpack the concept of time as in simultaneity of time, meaning, well, without diving too deeply into, into that, you know, we experience time, we as humans experience time as something linear, past, present, future, when in reality, actually, time is not linear. This is what we call simultaneity of time. Time is multidimensional. And if you go into the era of manifestation or uh, learning anything about the quantum field, 
um, you will read repeatedly and repeatedly and repeatedly about this concept of simultaneity of time. So tomorrow, we're going to touch on this idea of time um, in one very interesting context, which is called um, a process of clearing a timeline, which can be a really, really powerful concept, uh, a powerful exercise, rather, um, clearing a timeline is in one of the tools that will help you step into the fullness of your power. And something really interesting happened um, to me just a couple of days ago. I'm going to share with you the story of what was triggered within me just literally two days ago um, and um, how I just saw that I was completely timelining, um, not that in that moment, but the following day. And I saw it through the, through the lens of the sacred contract and me stepping into the fullness of my power and making a new choice and clearing that timeline so I don't ever go back to that time where I literally become a different age. So whenever we, whenever we are timelining, we become a different age. Um, let me just really quickly, I don't want to I don't want to take up a lot of times, but timelining happens when, let's say, for example, um, for a lot of people, it happens whenever you are around your family. Like Ramda said, you think you're enlightened? Go hang out with your family for a week. So a lot of us will timeline whenever we are around our parents. We we'll literally lose our power we are, whenever we are in the presence of our family. And we become a different age. Um, literally, like we become a bratty teenager or something, and we have no access to any of the knowledge, any of the life experiences we had from age 13, let's say, to age 42, age 50, age 60, because we're stuck in that dimension of time when we're timelining to that thing that happened. Am I making sense? So literally, whenever we're timeline, we lose our uh, power. And everything that we do in this year of yes is the tools, the the knowledge, um, the techniques that will help you to step into the fullness of your power so that you can shape your destiny. So we're going to start unpacking the idea of simultaneity of time and why these anchors in time um, prevent us from fully stepping into the in, into all of our power. As a matter of fact, these anchors in time cause us to lose power. And whenever that happens, something that can be done instantaneously because time is simultaneous, in the quantum field, it can happen right here and now. You can manifest instantaneously, but because of all these anchors where we lose our power, something that could be instantaneous takes us years to manifest or create into in this physical reality. Anyway, I hope I didn't complicate um, this idea for you in this short little sneak pre peek preview. Rather, I want to give you a little bit of a taste of what's to come tomorrow. So we're going to unpack our inherited legacy, um, you know, stop carrying that generational, um, whatever that is, limiting beliefs, um, you know, you, you not only do you get to stop that inherited legacy in your own life, right? So that you can step into the fullness of your power, but you can stop that generational inherited legacy from passing it on to your children. And if you're not willing to do it for yourself, do it for your children. So that's one thing. And then another thing is what I absolutely love is time. Time and once you understand or at least become aware of some alternative of time, that's when you start truly stepping into the fullness of your power as a master manifest, as somebody who shapes your destiny, somebody who creates their reality instead of being the victim of their circumstances. So Roger and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow, Wednesday, July 7th, uh, 6 to 8 p.m. Central. I'm going to send you an email with all the instructions and Zoom links, and we cannot wait to connect with you tomorrow. Bye, guys.